Bro, I'm laughing so hard. Now I do got something to address real quick before I get out of here. Now I do got to, I do how to address this. Have you seen the little carom cheese stuff? I have. Dro- dropping <laughs> crystal balls in the chat. I'm going to get into it. Well, you know this, what? I'm this, glad this. you're going to address that. Cause I actually have something to say about one of your comments on the, on the post too. Do you, you, you want to be on camera on a clip like nah, that? I ain't be on camera with it. Huh? Well, I mean, yeah, I ain't got a camera set up. <laughs> okay. Cause <laughs> listen, I right, look, you, you want to go first or you want me to go first? I mean, like basically for me, I think like the females are already having a hard time coming out saying their truth and saying what's been bothering them as a whole because they feel like they're getting judged. Um, so I, overall the, the total principle of what happened, you had it you hit it nail on the head, like he just basically just got some side ass or whatever, but I don't think you probably should have went after the female culture and be like, Hey, he just got some ass, not worry about it. But for the females, they coming out on Twitter, they coming out telling their confessions, they're coming out their truth. And it's already hard enough for them to speak out. And maybe not just females, but just people in general to come out and speak out about something that has happened to them. I mean, <laughs> at the end of the day, that's all he really did was cheated. But as females, you can't really like stop them from wanting to tell their truth or speak their mind. And that can go for male and female. But I, I got your point. But then, yeah, I mean, what, what I was basically saying was like, when I read it, I was expecting something bad, like a side child or like he got aggressive with the girl at the hotel or something. That's why I kind of, when I read it, I read it with a grain of salt. Like maybe it's some physical altercation. Maybe, you know what I'm saying? He threatened to cancel her if she came out with it. I was like, okay, so you in the gaming industry, there's a content creator that you like. Y'all met up. Y'all started kind of entertaining each other. He lied about having a girlfriend. Y'all not in the same area. So y'all meeting up at places. Y'all had consensual relations. Nothing was forced. He didn't shame you or nothing. And when his girl found out about it, he made a choice. And this is my question. If he would have choose to leave his girl of seven years to pursue a relationship with her, would she have taken it? Or I mean, I think she was she have. mad that she wasn't chosen? That's a good spin to put on it. Definitely. It, it, because... that, that wasn't a spin is where my mind was going was now, because I've been a part of seeing a relationship that happened like that. And I was like, well, how do you think the girl who'd been with him seven years feel that her man entertained and slept with somebody, right? Like if he would have chose you and said, you know what? That relationship is over. I'm liking this new girl. You think she would have had any empathy for that girl if he left her for him? You see what I'm saying? Like in the reality is it's not they're They're adults. It ain't no side kid. None of them is married. None of them. Like it ain't like somebody living with somebody and, Bro, we talking about people meeting up, tapping cheeks when they out of town, bro. Like, yeah, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, but at the same time, I don't think it's shaming somebody from coming out with their truth about their situation. It is now you're going to try to hurt him because he chose to go back with his old lady and you didn't know about her. Okay. He lied. He got some ass or whatever, right? He misled you. You're not under age. We're not talking about Josh Giddy. We're not talking about Diddy. Like, or R. Kelly, somebody taking somebody on the road and doing something. This ain't Epstein. This ain't like, it's like no grooming. This is none of the sort. It's just somebody was in a love triangle. How many times has this happened? Now flip the flip and reverse the role. How many women out here do only fans or promiscuous tease guys and got guys that they entertain and they got a man and clap some cheeks when they was out of town on a man and a man. And they didn't know if they'd, the guy didn't know about the man. Most of the time, the man is going to be expected to say, Oh, you decide, nigga. Oh, you just, it, don't be mad, bro. You just like, she got a man and she played me. If she chose to go back with her man and cut the dude off and block him. Like, I don't think no, no, nobody gets upset. I just think it's the sympathy role of, Oh, he lied to me. He's not who he portrays himself to be. Well, since when did we start putting content creators on the pedestal that, if somebody got clout on the internet and was famous, internet famous, that women started liking them because they were famous, that if somebody lies and entertains somebody and sleeps with somebody on at a gaming conference, like rich, how many times do we see that? Like 
people meet at gaming conferences to tap cheeks. I don't do it. You know what I'm saying? Because I know it come with it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, that's not what I want to be stressed out over. But I could easily see how it happened for a man that's not married and has no kids. Would you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, I can agree with that, that stance. So, but I just think, like you said, she probably just felt slighted a little bit because he lied to her. He kind of let her on. He just ain't, he wasn't totally honest about his situation of seven years and a girl and all that type of stuff there. So, I mean, I can get her point, but I mean, at the end of the day, you might be right. She just might be mad because she wasn't the one that was selected at the end or he didn't leave his current girl for her and yada, yada, yada. But Cause, cause I, I, I just think we just gotta be careful women in the comments. shaming the story though. I, I never seen any of the women in the comments, like feeling sorry for the girlfriend. It was for the side chick. Like, what are we talking about? Like, don't you think the girl that's been with her man for seven years, getting a getting a uh, relationship blasted on the internet is sad? Like, well, all saw, the sympathy is for the side piece. Yeah, I saw comments for both because she also had some accusations out there that he was a uh, domestic violence or whatever. So, you know, I saw that. So they felt sympathy for the girl and the side chick. But, but it's know. like it's not shaming coming out with the story. It's like yo, speak your truth, but like. I don't think like the, the the national guard is running into like oh the poor pitiful damsel that like the internet nigga and he wind up cheating like you know yeah. what I'm saying like like Drake having but, a secret but I also baby. think that she like looked up to him and like saw that he was a pillar of the community and thought that that type of behavior wasn't like something that he would do. But at the end of the day, we're all strangers. We don't know what these people do when they cut off the live stream. Kind of like an Aaron Hernandez, a man scoring touchdowns on a Sunday morning and then chopping up folks at night. So I ain't even going to compare it to Aaron Hernandez because we're talking about somebody making millions of dollars in the NFL in, in college. I would more <laughs> likely just say like Pastor. But just the personality, yeah. Think about it. Pastor has lap covers at church because he don't want to see Sister Johnson's thighs crossing her legs. I mean, there's... It's, like to think that the pastor hadn't got weak and knocked off one of the ladies at the church. You know what I'm saying? Like it's right. okay. Like I'm, I'm not seeing nothing that wouldn't be normal. You know what I'm saying? Like here's rich black man. He's such a nice guy, but rich black man is still a man. And you know, <laughs> if, if an attractive woman was throwing herself at him because she liked who he was on the internet, then, you know, it, things could happen. It's not like, Oh my God. Rich had an affair with the woman. Like, no, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, if it's any man or woman. Like, I've seen more women. I've seen as many women be like that. Like, you know how many women I know cheated on their man with other content creators because they liked them from the internet? And if any one of those dudes was to make a story, like, out in it, they'd be looked at like a sucker. They wouldn't be looked at as, like, somebody who got played. You see what I'm saying? Like, I've seen dudes, girls do this, and I'm like, Ooh, she, 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 ooh, did she dirty? You know what I'm saying? But ain't nobody looking at the dude like, oh my God, bro. Like, I can't believe she did. She would lie to you. Like, yeah, I would believe somebody on the internet would lie to somebody to have sex. <laughs> yes, I do believe most content creators portray an image better than the one that they have in real life. That's why my image on the internet is kind of flawed. Like, I'm, like, I'm, I have issues. I am flawed. But one thing I can say is I've never physically been with no woman on the internet, bro. For that reason, because like I don't want to tell all book on me. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, what's worse than that, bro? Like, you get put on child support because you've been having sex with somebody on the internet. Right. Yeah, I mean, it was an interesting read. Like you said, it definitely lacked some substance other than what you had mentioned. I thought it was going to be a lot more juicier than that. But Yeah, I, I, I'm expecting, like, she pregnant. You know what I'm saying? He told her to get rid of the baby. I made her eat a plan B or choked her because he she he threatened to whoop her because she's gonna tell or something like i'm looking at some r kelly shit but it's like oh he didn't tell you about his girlfriend <laughs> like all right <laughs> how many girls don't tell they they the dude they entertaining about their boyfriend i've seen i've seen married women sleep with people on the internet from gaming and go right. back to their husbands matter of fact there's a content creator that we all know they went to jail for choking this girl out over her sleeping with a content creator. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, I I got the mug shot. I'll send it to you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm saying, like, uh, he went live, like, 
saying stuff that I'm like, bro, I ain't the one that, you know what I'm saying? Drop, drop the anchor in her cuz like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I seen this happen a bunch of times. Yeah. Bro, I'll be watching it when I be at the, uh, I mean, me being, uh, you, you remember, uh, when matter of fact, y'all go to my YouTube, uh, long form with spank queen. I was telling her like how many guys you think support you in your community that deep down wish that gym would fall off a cliff. And she's like being naive. I said, probably 90% of the guys that watch you probably wish the gym would disappear. You know what I'm saying? Like, and she's like, really? And then Jim was like, hell yeah, Buddha. Like, like exactly. Like, how many dudes that see her and be like, yo, like he is a little Asian chick in a, in a, in a leather cat suit. Like I, I, I need him, her dude to get out the picture. You know what I'm saying? Like it happens. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like I, like the, I have female content creators in five nations. So I'll be seeing a lot of stuff. It's a lot of guys that right now, like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like dog, like I'll hold the bag on niggas, but, I would never out them. You know what I'm saying? Like, that's not, it's just not right. You know what I'm saying? At the, at the end of the day, like I wouldn't expect any of them females that's on vibe nation, or any ones that I've ever dealt with, like in content to be like, you know, I've been at conferences and stuff and we had to go tell somebody like, yo, I'm not entertaining your person. I'm just here as a content creator. Like I'm here to do content. Like we play the game. Like that's it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I, I don't need to be sleeping with my phone face down in my house with my wife at night. You know what I'm saying like I I love I could just throw my phone in the living room right now and not worry about it. You see what I'm yeah. saying? Like that's me though. I I know people's situations and I'm like just scratching my head like yeah like when I read that I'm like people is acting as if like this ain't no disrespect and no slight but I'm saying if somebody got OnlyFans because like they really don't need to be saying like oh my god this is so wrong he cheated like bro like y'all dangling the, the apple in front of the horse all day. Like, what do you think happens? Then you, no disrespect too. I seen his girlfriend of seven years and then I seen the girl he cheated with him. Like, well, I kind of see how that happened. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, here's, here's some younger sexy version of, of, <laughs> of his girlfriend. It's like upgraded. You know what I'm saying? Like, Oh my God, he turned in the, the, the Kia for a, a Corvette. Yeah, it, it did happen. But guess what? He probably didn't want to drive that Corvette every day. It's not an everyday car. You want to get yeah. back in the Camry. <laughs> ride ride safely with good gas mileage. He said the crazy part is how possible it is for your girl to get clapped by a streamer without jumping on an airplane. For, bro, we've seen people in the Mac community, wives get clapped by content creators. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, bro, I know people that have that they baby ain't theirs, man. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it's some real juicy stuff out here in the world for somebody to be, oh my God, Karam Cheese cheated on his girlfriend for some sexy video game vixen e-girl. It's nice to tell all my females in Vibe Nation, Rich, that, like, let's be realistic here. Like, most of the guys that play the game with you, like, you're their secret girlfriend. They're fantasizing about, like, having some sexy girl play the game with them. Like, that's most of what this is it's your job to set the tone on how far you allowed to go. Now let's say she never slept with Karen cheese. And then she found out about the girlfriend. Right. You, you see what I'm saying? Like, but you did you, the internet, like if she just met him at the mall, she probably not letting him clap. He's an internet dude. that's popular. You see what I'm saying? Like part of the thing you saying as what's bad is you're preying on. He's a known face. I'm sleeping with Karen cheese. You know what I'm saying? No Diddy. Like then you <laughs> find out he got a girlfriend. Like now rich, let's say you wasn't daddy rich, right? No Diddy. And you're single, right? Yeah. If you met, let me just throw some names out there. Uh, I mean, let me, let me use some names that, Use a generic streamer. No, I want to use, I, I use a person. That way, it it, it kind of resonates a little bit more. I right, let's say let's say like uh, I'm gonna take some of my homegirls. Let's take like uh, fun size or swisher sweet. Right. Let's say you're rich, and you on 
you got a big Facebook contract, you know what I'm saying? Facebook paying you a hundred grand a year. You getting pushed out there. You going to all the events. You in LA, you in Vegas, you all these places. And one of them start entertaining you. <clears throat> Would it be far fetched to say that one of them probably talked to another guy besides you? Maybe uh, even have a guy that is in love with them somewhere secretly, whether they in a serious committed relationship or not. Would it be a surprise to you if there's if if Swiss the Sweet is in California and in in fun sizes in Texas, like in Dallas or something like would it be su- a surprise that they're dating somebody? To you? Yeah, it wouldn't be a surprise at all. All right, so like you in Orlando, you rich, you making good money. I don't know if I'm a good example. I wouldn't date another. No, I'm, but I'm I'm saying like I'm, I'm saying you you rich black man you 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 rich. They know you getting it, and you in Orlando, you in Florida. Would it be a surprise to any of those girls that like you have been off and on seeing somebody? What you mean? Would I entertain them or would no, I I'm approach saying, them? Do you think that 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 they would look at you and say, "Rich ain't got nobody at all." They they first uh, they first thought would be like Rich probably is seeing talking to somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. Like so yeah, the yeah. thing is is there's always that gray area of is it somebody there or somebody not? You know what I'm saying? Like, so yeah, he had a girlfriend, but he just didn't leave his girlfriend for this girl. I mean, to that point, I wouldn't even like if there's another stream bed name streamer, like the assumption is that they do got somebody already. Thank you. That's the assumption, <laughs> like, right? You don't think these people are here that's just single like unless you totally ask them but the assumption right off rip like they even having a conversation that yeah they got somebody why right. wouldn't like like my first thought is like let me just take vibe nation let's say coach clay myself you and bill let's say we're all single no kids the assumption would be that all four of us probably would have some female laying around I don't think it's any woman that would meet any of us and say like we're just completely just sitting around doing nothing in the same way, I would say if I took, like I said, Swiss the Sweet, Fun Size, Miss Vicious, like we take some of the, you know, more popular black female streamers, the assumption is there's a guy somewhere. Mm-hmm. Girls like that just ain't sitting around by themselves. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's just be real. Somebody's trying to date them or take them out. So my thought is like, during this time, like you just, oh my God, like, you made it seem like he is married, had a family, like flew you out. Y'all got a kid coming or something like it. It's not like that. Cause it's just, <laughs> it's y'all met up out of town. Y'all clapped a little bit. Y'all was talking. And then you find out he had a girl who's to say that in time he got comfortable enough with this girl that if they got in the same city, he might've broke it off with old girl. Let me teach you, you how to buy. Like the, 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 that probably could have happened, but you probably like, oh, she found out. I gotta just go back to what I know. She not about the type of girl he was dealing with. Probably like she not about to take. We not ever gonna have no future. Did she know I had a girlfriend this whole time? Let me just go back to my girl. My girl ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? Like they made right. it seem like this dude is just like some super groomer and has some young girl or something. Like, I'm like, nah. This was some very consensual. Like when I first read the first paragraph, like we had consensual sex. I'm like, well, what are we talking about here? Like, what do you do? He lied. Okay. How many like girls lie about having to do like <laughs> we in the same. Well, the when same. I read that part, that's when I knew it was going to take a turn for the worse. <laughs> right. Like we had yeah. consensual sex. Like, okay. Like yeah. he was very respectful. He was <laughs> what, are we do- like, what are we talking about? Like, <laughs> like, I mean, but like I said, I respect her coming out and respect her truth and I respect the situation that she went through. It's very unfortunate. Uh, I just don't want to like, like I said, shame a girl for coming out and telling her truth, no matter what it is, no matter if it's juicy or not. Like if you got a platform and you feel you need to get that out to feel a little bit better or to make awareness, go right ahead. I'm all for it. <laughs> me, me, I don't feel like me even saying what I said was shame her. I feel like me, yeah. I put like this. When when a girl came, when a female content creator came out and said, real go gaming, rape such and such. And I said, whoa, that's a big statement. He has a daughter that's 12 years old to make that statement blanketed, sight unseen with no proof. It's kind of crazy. Let me look into it. When I looked into it and I'm like, oh, the girl I talked to, she's like, no, nah, it was consensual. I was upset. He didn't do X, Y, Z. Then the other girl who made the claim, they're... <laughs> 
if he would have posted what he had that she sent him, she would be embarrassed. He didn't even post it. She was just mad at the end of the day because he didn't pick her. But you knew he was already consensual with this girl. You don't even have to apologize with saying that a man with a 12 year old daughter had a, a sexual assault with a woman who's saying, nah, it wasn't no assault. Like I, like me and him was talking for a minute and she was upset because he didn't clap her. Now, if they ain't gonna have no sympathy for him or apologize to him about knowing uh, rich, imagine a female content creator come out saying rich had a sexual assault on somebody or me or you. And you don't even have to apologize and say it was all a lie. I was mad because Rich wouldn't sleep with me. Well, I was mad because Buddha didn't sleep. Like, bro, are we serious? Now, mind yeah. you, the same person who made this claim, this man has a tape of them doing wild sexual things and never posted it. Like, in retaliation, like, nah, I ain't going to do you like that. I'm going to just cut you off and block you. If a woman don't got to apologize for that, like, we really finna sit here and go in on this dude because he cheated on his girlfriend and lied. Like, you, okay. you know what I'm saying? Like I know plenty of female content creators that lie to their dude. And bro, I've seen some females be married and tell they dude they want to slap sleep with a content creator. And it happened before. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? It's like the dude don't get to come out and say, Oh my God, she told her husband. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> the situations I've been involved in, I'm like, it just got to go both ways. Cause I don't think nobody's shaming her for saying it. I'm just saying, I don't think it's nothing heavy enough to make it seem Let me like it's all you, out of vibe. you know what I'm saying? Like you got, you, you got misled by a guy that you, that you have feelings for that you met on the internet. He's an internet personality that you fell for. This is to me like somebody saying, uh, um, this guy I've been seeing, um, he lied. He has a girlfriend. His name is soldier boy. Like what the, f like, bro, like seriously, you know what I'm saying? Like in my mind, that's how I'm viewing it. It's like, Okay, Soldier Boy tell you you didn't have a girlfriend and he has a girlfriend. Okay. Mm. You see what I'm saying? Like how hard it would be to look into his life and see if he had a, a significant other or not. You know what I'm saying? Like like trigger happy and all like all of them have boyfriends, like their boyfriends are holding the camera. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my god, I was led astray. Like, what are we doing here? Yeah. That's just my thought. That's why I didn't feel like it's shame. And it's like, we're not finna do this cancel culture sympathy shit because how many women that's in this industry lie about having dudes. So guys, like some people's whole personality is to act like they're single so they can get more money. I mean, that's, that's a thing, right? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I'm like, I've had this conversation with women before, like before in hand, and I'm telling them like the same way I would be stupid to think that there hasn't been some female that watched me because they I'm their internet boyfriend, not putting myself in no type of pedestal or nothing. I'm saying there probably has been a woman that's like your content at some point. Like, Oh, like even better. Um, what's my nigga that dance? Uh, Mr. Record it. How many of them women we joke with him about them women that watch his dance videos? Like how many of them women like actually want him? He's been on a dating TV show. So like if one of them women's like, Oh my God, Mr. Record Dad act like he's such a the dad, but he's dating somebody and then he he's seeing me also. Like <laughs> Mr. Record yeah. Dad. Like he danced with his shirt off. Like, what do you think? You know what I'm saying? Like he knows that the women that watch his dance videos like him. You know what I'm saying? Like he be stupid. No, they're really here for the dance tutorial. Like, come on, bro. Like, like they like him. You know what I'm saying? So it's the same way with a female. Like I'm pretty sure Queen Eliminator or Mrs. May stream, you see Mrs. May boyfriend in all her videos. There's some dudes that don't care if it's a boyfriend there or not. That's like, yo, let me shoot my shot. Like he goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? Like, like that, like, that's part of the thing, right? Like I'm saying she has the right to air him out, but I'm saying like, I don't have any sympathy for like a dude lying about having a girlfriend. Like now if he like assaulted her or threatened to stop her career, if she told her, then all right, bro, you're doing too much. You know what I'm saying? But he lied about having a girlfriend. You know how many girls that have lied about having a dude in the content? I know some people right now I could air them out, but that's, you know what I'm saying? Like what good would that do? You see what I'm saying? Like I've seen some people in person that got dudes and maybe they dudes were with them when they went places. And they like, yo, you know what I'm saying? It's up for a certain people. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro. Like we, nobody that is desirable, like is just out here floating with nothing. 
So I lead with it. So people are like, not, not, not take, you know what I'm saying? Like they'll know, like I'm known for being around all the pretty girls in content without shooting my shot and like hitting them with a random dick pic or something. You know what I'm saying? So, but I'm also honest with those girls. Like if y'all going to be on there with them titties out, like just know them dudes that sending stars ain't just thinking about, you know, your kill death ratio. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they, it's in their head. So clearly when you hear her talk about her, it's like, oh my God, I finally got the data content creator. This ain't no thin situation where the girl was on in rehab on drugs and locked Let herself in the bathroom and threatened to kill herself if he kicked her out and broke up with her. Like that was a whole shit show. And I didn't even have sympathy for her because I'm like, he tried to get you rehab and tried to send you home. Like you have videos and posts of saying he's trying to send me to rehab and signed to send me to my family and I won't go. So what is he supposed to do? Like he ran up a $10,000 credit card. Like am I supposed to have sympathy for on that end? Like, nah, bro, you got you a thotty in the house. Like if she ran up your credit card, it's your fault for giving it to her. So I don't have sympathy for him and I don't have sympathy for her. Like you're an addict and you won't leave your boyfriend. You saying he got you stuck in the house as a sex slave and then here you on post drunk talking about give me that dick. So like, what are we doing? Like <laughs> you commenting under his thread talking about give me the meat now. Like what is, so what are we doing? Like are he forcing you or that's what you want to do? Cause you on drugs. Like you mad cause he's wanting to send you to rehab. Like, I don't even take up for these guys because I was like, guys be doing some weirdo simp shit. But I don't look at any of these PG type streamers and think that they wouldn't get some pussy if the opportunity wasn't thrown off the backboard. You see what I'm saying, Rich? These guys that's in streaming right now that are like super goody two shoes. I know if some pussy got thrown, they fucking. Yeah, I I know. (laughs) You see what I'm saying? So it's like, that's why I'm saying like the same way with these females that's out here. It's like some of them have these great images. Like a lot of these women go both ways. A lot of these, you know what I'm saying? Do a lot of shit. And I'm like, so like we can't sit here and act like this is like some innocent shit. So she's not being shamed. She's trying to shame him for having a girlfriend and cheating. But that, that what does that mean? It means uh, the next dude who look at you say she pretty, but I ain't finna deal with that. <laughs> like, she was saying she this this girl she need to go to therapy before I deal with her. And on his end, I'm like, man, I wouldn't even address that shit. Like, I'm can can you have some privacy for me and my girlfriend? We're working through some things right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, we we have counseling. We're trying to save our relationship for seven years. Because my question is, if he broke if he broke up with his girl and said, nah, I really got feelings for this new girl, nobody would be feeling sorry for her, and she would be like. I took your man, bitch, like sexy red. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> Cardi B shit. Like <laughs> ain't that the era we in? That's wild. <laughs> fucking on your man, bitch. Like that's what y'all listen to all day. So like at the same time you go to these people's story, I'm fucking on your man, bitch. He said his I sit my pussy on his nose. Da-da. You bouncing in the car to the shit. You know what I'm saying? And the situation happened and he shoes the other girl and you like that that verse hit different on it. You thought you had my man, but you was just sucking his dick. Like it, the second verse caught you. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> but I also think that like just in this is in general. This is not that really directed at her as well. But they got to be red flags, man. They got to be signs that people gotta just be. choose to ignore. Like a lot of that is on them, bro. You know how many times. I've had female content creators like in relationships with two of my homies that stream. And I'm like, you do know she talked to such and such, don't you? Gaming, right? Huh? Yeah. What? Yeah. Uh, yeah, she's, bro, I've be, I been at the meetup and I've been in some of these places and this girl's that got two dudes they dealing with at the same time there. Mm-hmm. Like all that Vibe Nation shit was the similar thing. It This, this wasn't guys cheating. These were girls cheating. These were girls that had two dudes. You see what I'm saying? Like all that Vibe Nation stuff that got spicy, there was never no situation where it was no dude cheating. Right. These girls was cheating. And I'm like, yo, bro, she rocked with Buddy before. Like, you remember when Femi went through all that shit? Yeah. She was talking to uh, to Buddy and then Buddy was mad about it. Talking about he gonna break in her house and steal all her game and shit. That's what that shit came. He made a diss record and everything about the girl. You see what I'm saying? Like that was the girl having a double life. 
rest in the you know, I can't even put that out there, but you know what I'm saying? Like I had in real life people come like, yo, I found out my baby mom's got a dude, you know what I'm saying? Like, listen, bro, you can't even be mad at her. She just protecting us uh 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 situation. You just gotta act accordingly now that you know. That's me. That's come from me. You know what I'm saying? It's people I care about. So I'm saying the same situation is in this reverse is you got to be able to know if you're dealing with somebody in the long, like loafing perfect example. <laughs> loafing is defending the girl. And we like, yo, she got another dude. Y'all OT y'all long distance relationship. Y'all have been talking for three, four months. Like you need to get up out of there. She probably got another dude. No, bro. It ain't that she got try- like, bro. It's another guy. You know what I'm saying? So the same thing I would tell a man is the same thing I'm telling this woman. It's like, okay, why wouldn't she lie that she got another dude? She told you it was weird because you came in the house to try to fix the relationship. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like she called you another man's name when you flew into the city. Like you see what I'm saying? Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't have listen to that, bro. I would have been out. <laughs> bro, I'm <laughs> saying like that. you you listen to it. So like this is Let not like I'm inconsistent. I'm saying I'm telling my guy, like, yo, you flew in, you didn't say her house, red flag. She didn't pick you up from the airport, red flag. She called you another man's name, red flag. You came to her house to try to apologize about the night before and she told you it was weird for coming to her house even though you flew in the city to see her and you in a rental car? Red flag. Like, bro, so why would it be different for if it's a female that you're dealing with a big name content creator on Twitch and oh my God, like, can't believe he had a girlfriend. <laughs> what do you mean? Like, he's flying. He, y'all done flew out. All right. You see what I'm saying? So it's like, this is, I'm very consistent. People just got to stop being so goddamn soft. You, you flew out. You like the popular nigga. You got fucked on. He chose the other girl. Go on about your business. Next time, do a little more goddamn research. You thought you was fucking on somebody popular and finna be next up. That's why I say sometimes, you know, Drake line, sometimes when she keep the, the, the tea to herself is, is more attractive. That's not attractive seeing a female that'll air our business. I think it's sexy if a woman can hold in what she know. Shout out to Drake. You know what I'm saying? Like, that was a tough line he said. See, I think it's more attractive when you keep it down. Like, you out here airing business out now, no dude want to deal with you because you could be doing too much. And there's only a certain type of woman that would come to the defense of that. Most women that say, I'm sorry you went through that girl. Ooh, girl, you see that bitch? That's why I be checking these niggas out. I gotta figure out if they gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Let me see some let me walk through your house and see, look at the pictures first. Let me look under the bed. You know what I'm saying? Like most women is gonna say they console her, but then gonna secretly talk about her behind her back. Like, that bitch must have seen the signs or something. A nigga like that right. in the in the line, like, bitch, you know he got somebody. See, they'll do that behind closed doors. And then show love for them in person. Niggas, we airing will open out. Nigga, get your ass in here. Let's talk about this shit. Nigga, you about to never fly out of town and don't stay at the girl house. No, you see what I'm saying? Like, we getting right to the business. Like, nah, fuck what she said to you. Like, nigga, your girl birthday and she ain't spending with you. When Jay Frank came in here talking about he told this girl he didn't want to celebrate Valentine's Day. Nigga, are you she probably getting piped right now. Nigga, you better run over to tell you sorry. Tell the Buddha say you sorry. You know what I'm saying? Cause you was in my stream. Fuck. I ain't getting no type of stupid ass advice like that. You better go ahead and get your woman back. You know what I'm saying? Like, you better take her to that come with Beyonce concert, nigga. Like, what's wrong with you? You right. see what I'm saying? Like, the hell you was thinking about not spending time with your girl on Valentine's Day to prove a point. <laughs> you better get a point proved now. Right? You see what I'm saying? Like, it, it's not shaming her. It's saying, like, hey, look, tell your truth, but I think it's hurting you in the long run. And them girls that ain't going to be honest with you and say, girl, you need to look for the red flags. Because if it's a dude telling me about a female in the, in the gaming space, I'm going to be like, you might want to trade like my boy. You know what I'm saying? Somebody else is, especially y'all out of town, y'all in different cities. They're being impossible to think that she ain't fooling with somebody. And vice versa. Guy working out in the gym, nice car, nice place, making some money. What the fuck? He's not sitting around on his hands. You know what I'm saying? Like, Mm-mm-mm. But I gotta get out here. I gotta go pick my kid up from school. Right back. It's been real great talk, Rich. You just made me some YouTube content. It's going up. You might not want to be a part of it, but you're a part of it now. You in the shop. 
bleep out my I'm putting, my, I'm my, I'm putting my it, uh, Rich is gonna be big on this on the the the, the, the thumbnail, and it's gonna have like all the words I say is coming out of his mouth. Bleep out my session. Bars. Let nah, me you teach going you how to vibe. All right.